What's good? What's good? What's good? It's your big home, big bad, man. <coughs> and this is the Real Talk, Real Shit Podcast. Um, on today's topic, I'm gonna be touching on um the sweetie meal, the sweetie meal, whatever, sweetie, sweetie, whatever. However you say that girl's name or that young lady's name. No disrespect to the young lady, but I will say this: her music is garbage. Um, she promotes nothing but um, trash, promiscuity, promis- promiscuous, um, provocative bullcrap uh, for the young ladies. She for the streets. Um, you know, you got, you see what she tried to do with Quavo. Um, she doesn't, listen, I'm not here to down the young lady. I respect all people, especially black people. Um Especially anybody trying to do their thing. I respect that, man. But a lot of that shit is fake. A lot, most enjoy, majority of those artists are garbage and trash and fake. And um, and by that, I mean the content that comes out your mouth. You judge somebody by their character. If you're telling young ladies to go out and uh, fuck a nigga, get rich, bitch, tap in. You know, fuck a nigga, get rich, bitch, tap in. You can't, you, how many... It is, it is. Let me fix it. You, you're not telling the young ladies how many men they're going to have to F. You're just telling them to do it. You're not telling them. You're not being real. How many dudes you got to F to get rich? Mm. This is, what is this? Prostitution. So, what are you promoting? What are you promoting to the young ladies? Here, go over there with that because it'll pick up on the uh, camera. I'm on my microphone. Okay? Thank you. What are you promoting to the young lady, sweetie? First off, first off, that's why I don't like the music. I And to be honest, sonically, I would like anything that sounds good because I like a lot of trash music that sounds uh, good. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of um, artists that are promoting bullshit, but it sounds good. So I'm not here hating on nobody because I, I, I know what's going on. I'm with the shits. You know what I'm saying? I'm not part of the shit, but I know what's going on. Um, so for one, you got sweetie talking about, I mean, she's promoting the, um, say what's up to him. Say what's up. Rosa. Say what's up. Rosa. You got sweetie promoting the, um, McDonald's sweetie meal and she's not promoting McDonald's sweetie meal. She did a deal for some bread. What did y'all have? Um, a few months back during the, during the, hold on, go over there real quick. Cause you, you talking, I can't, I can't. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, so like I was saying, you had a few months, about six months back, during the middle of the pandemic, you had the Travis Scott burger. Now, I'm going to tell you how dumb, I'm going to tell you how dumb, because I'm not, I don't do conspiracies and theories and shit like that no more. I'm only talking real talk now. Ain't no conspiracy. Ain't no thoughts. Ain't no, I think this is happening. I'm only going to tell you what it is. Now, what it is, is how desperate, um, well, first off, let me talk about the consumer. How dumb are you, all you people who go out and buy these McDonald's burgers, these Sweetie Meals and these Travis Scott Meals, because you, you think about what's going on. They're, they're giving you the same products, uh, the same ingredients that they always gave you. They just remix it. You see the video of Sweetie um, making the making the burger. She ain't doing nothing but what any dude on the McDonald's line does. She taking the same ingredients and remixing it. All restaurants going to give you the same shit. They just going to remix the uh, ingredients, meaning put a different amount of this on there and a different amount of that and put this with that and that with this and tell you it's something new. It's the same shit you've been eating for decades. Now, another thing that you need to realize It's a money grab. It's a money grab. And for all you dummies, you're going to go out there and participate in the money grab. Making who rich? McDonald's Corporation richer. It's not supporting Sweetie. She's going to, she already got her bread. They already gave her her check just for doing the promotion and the marketing and all that. And building to the brand. Because what, if you don't realize, McDonald's is suffering. They have been suffering since the pandemic began they've been suffering um 
if you want to really be real about it, McDonald's is having really uh, kiosk um, kiosk lobbies now. They don't even really have employees like that in the lobby because what? That's hey Sky, put that horse down for him. Sky, put that horse down for him. Because that's too much overhead. Too many employees. Here, put it down. Thank you. Too many employees is too much overhead. And with too much overhead, you got to shave it down. Shave your employees down. Shave your uh, principal costs down so you make more profit. And then you shave the principal down. Now you have all this surplus of product because you haven't been selling. So what do you do? You bring in another Travis Scott. You bring in a Sweetie to help you sell your overstock. How dumb are y'all? And that's not to say that people don't deserve to be, um, uh, companies don't deserve to be purchased and all that, but what? Get what? Go play. But how, how dumb are you to keep giving to a, um, a company that doesn't need no more of your money? McDonald's is so big, there's a McDonald's in every state, city, hick town, country small, any small town you pull up in in America, they got a McDonald's and a gas station off the rip. So I'm going to just be real with you. Don't be fooled. And They don't need your money. Sweetie does not need your money. McDonald's does not need your money. And I'm not telling you not to uh, go buy nothing because you're going to buy it if you're going to buy it anyway. Majority of y'all fat asses are going to buy it anyway. You know, this is what y'all do. You participate in the system and keep the cog wheel rolling. You know, um, <clears throat> but what you have to realize is we have power as spenders, as consumers, as purchasers. We have power, and you need to exercise your exercise your power by being a wise purchaser, a wise consumer, a wise buyer. You know, um, buy things that you need, not things that you want. You know, buy things that you need. If you don't need it, you don't have it. If you don't need it, don't have it for real. But I see big home, big bad man. I don't know how how much logic y'all put into this shit, but you see what y'all getting out of it. Guts, overweight, and looking crazy. So keep buying sweetie meals, keep buying happy meals, and keep goddamn suffering. It's your big home, big bad man. It's the Real Talk, Real Shit Podcast. We got the power as people, and we have the power as consumers. Exercise your power and stop being weak.